It's me, Rhea. Thank you, Mom. March Tickers here. Kami na next. Yes, kayo na po ang next. Hello, March Tickers. Here's another topic that you should know before taking the board exam. What are the powers of teachers? Again, what are the powers of teachers? So I will share five powers of teachers. We have expert, referent, reward, coercive, and legitimate. Kapag sinabi natin na expert, ibig sabihin si teacher, expert siya sa kanyang tinuturo. It means mastery of knowledge or mastery of subject matter. It means know what you are teaching. Next, ang referent. It means of referent, consensus, that you have care sa mga estudyante mo. Halimbawa, sa paggawa ng rules and regulation, tinatanong mo sila kung ano yung gusto nilang rules or regulation na maaari nilang maidagdag. Pangatlo, yung reward. As a teacher, tayo yung nagbibigay ng reward. Like for example, the grades. Or yung mga verbal or non-verbal praise. Number four is coercive. Ibig sabihin, ability to punish. Hindi ba sa facilitating learning, pinag-aaralan natin ang positive and negative punishment like that? Basta huwag lang tayong umaabot sa nakakasakit tayo ng mga estudyante natin. Siyempre, paano sila matututo? Tama? And the last is legitimate. Ibig sabihin, you have the position. You have the role. You are person in authority. Ulitin ko, ang pinag-aralan natin ngayon ay powers of the teachers. We have expert, referent, reward, coercive, and legitimate. Kung may mga gusto pa po kayong malaman, huwag po kayong mahihiyang i-comment lang po. At yun lamang po, ingat!